There's a scene after the Bluetooth part, there's a scene where he has to try, he's trying to tell his ballet friends a story, but they won't let him talk. You know, that's not in the script. That's something where, um, you know, uh, I, I went to Eugenio, I was like, hey, we need something here that needs to be funny, but it, it, we have to kind of show, you know, that, that he's being ignored. And he's like, oh, I got it. Antonio, this is your first premiere, right? ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Por qué pone cara de menso? Hi, Richard. Hi, nice to meet you. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty sure you learned some Spanish words with Eugenio. ¿Qué te enseñó? What did he teach you? Uh, a little bit, but uh, not, not, not a ton. I, <laughs> I apologize for no, don't don't learning about more. It. <laughs> So how did uh, how was this project born? How did you connect with Eugenio? Did Eugenio contact you? Did you contact Eugenio? Tell me a little bit about how this project was born. Oh, the way I got involved with the project is that um, I had worked with Ben O'Dell, the producer um, and partner, Eugenio's partner, uh, on another movie called Spare Parts, um, and um, you know he had seen my most my my last film called Come As You Are, and. Um, when he saw it, he loved me and uh, he he loved it. And he thought that um, the tone of that movie would be a perfect fit for this movie. So when he sent me the script, um, I immediately fell in love with the script. I fell in love with um, Antonio, fell in love with the family, fell in love with everything about it. And so um, it's something I really very much wanted to do because I felt like telling the story of this family um, and Antonio was very much telling the story of like my own family and my own father. Um, and, and Eugenio um, perfectly embodied that. And, you know, I was a big fan of um, Instructions Not Included. So um, for me, it was just like working with a master. It was like the opportunity to work with a, a real comedic genius. But also he's a master at drama that I think people don't quite realize that he's, a, he's, a, he's much more than a comedian. He's, he's very much... Um, he can tap into very human things. And I think that's what makes him a great comedian, but also makes him a great actor in general. Well, that's very interesting you say that because, you know, we all know Eugenio as a comedian, you know, yeah. who has made it laugh for decades already. <laughs> yeah. So, interesting. So I know he, did he get involved in the writing process with you? Like helping you um, maybe write in Spanish or, you know, so Latin, I'm, I'm assuming that American comedy it's very different from Latino comedy, is it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, our writers, Bob and Rob, are, are also creative um, comic geniuses, but um, they also do not know Spanish the way Eugenio knows Spanish. And Eugenio, again, like Eugenio is a genius creative in all kinds of ways, not just as an actor, but as a filmmaker, you know. Um, so he had a very, very, of course, big hand in, um, in all the Spanish language of all his movies, but especially this one, of course. And, um, you know, I think all the brilliance of the Spanish language scenes of this movie very much comes from Eugenio's head and just, you know, he and I working out all the beats, but mostly just him kind of dialing in all the stuff. He's, he's such a master, you know, like, um, but a lot of, and some of it's improvised. Like there's a scene where he, he's on, there's a scene after the Bluetooth part, there's a scene where he has to try, he's trying to tell his ballet friends a story, but they won't let him talk. You know, that's not in the script. That's something where, um, you know, uh, I, I went to Eugenio, I was like, hey, we need something here that needs to be funny, but it, it, we have to kind of show, you know, that that he's being ignored. And he's like, oh, I got it. And he went over, he went over, he worked out a bunch of things with the valets and that was that scene, you know? And I, that's such a brilliant, that's such a brilliant scene. And he's so brilliant that way. Um, and he brings all of that humanity in, into these very funny situations. What jobs did you work in before directing? Um, before I was a director, I was, I was a, a director of photography um, for many years. Um, so that was unbelievably great training uh, for, for, uh, for making a movie like this. Um, I worked under some really great directors. Um, and I just think uh, watching is the best kind of learning. So um, I'm very thankful for that time that I had. I think if I had made this movie before I did that, I probably would have failed pretty badly. <laughs> well, I'm happy to have met you. And um, it's great to hear that Eugenio Derbez has, um, you know, in, it has impacted you and the way he has impacted us. Oh yeah, he's a very kind man. And, and that matters today. It's all kindness. Kindness is what we all need right now. Muchas gracias. Muchas.